In this project, I'm going to be making a small uh, dog cradle. Uh, it's one sixth actual size for like a Barbie doll size uh, baby cradle. Now here's a view of the uh, parts that I needed. Uh, and I'll cut them on my CNC. Uh, there'll be two ends, two sides, and uh, two uh, stand ends. Here's a picture of uh, the end of a doll cradle uh, I'm making uh, for the wife. She collects buried bears. So I thought I'd make her a cradle for one of them. It's a uh, one-six scale uh, Barbie size uh, for a baby cradle. And this is the end view. And this, uh, this here is the uh, side view of the uh, cradle. And this here is the, uh, the stand, the end of the stand. There's two of these. Well, there's two of all the parts. And uh, there's a few other parts of which I won't show, but you'll see them later. Okay, now here's all the parts cut out. Uh, I didn't film the CNC cutting it. Uh, I'm sure everybody knows what that looks like. So, anyway, here's the parts. Here's the, uh, the sides. Let's get two of those. You got the bottom, just a rectangular piece, and uh, here's the ends. And then there's a stand. These two pieces here are the stand. And those have uh, the stringer in between them. Fits in the slot. And then uh, there's a couple of washers here and two pins, which will go through uh, this hole through a washer and then uh, into this top hole here in the end. So all we really do not have to do now is just glue it up. Now, when I first uh, cut these, I had the holes just a tad small. Uh, I picked up a uh, set of these step drills here from Harbor Freight. Only cost me $11 with a 20% off coupon. Now these are real handy. Uh, you know, if you got a hole that's a little undersized and you want to make it a little larger, you can go in in steps and uh, make the hole just slightly bigger. Now the step is uh, a little less than an eighth of an inch. Well, it's about an eighth of an inch. But if you got a larger piece, it'll at least get it started for you and then you can use a regular drill to drill it through if it's thicker. Or you can come in uh, a little bit on each side and that way uh, you can get a nice clean hole out of it. So, if you do small work, I would definitely recommend a set of these. So, now, all I have to do is, uh, we'll slip the pin in here. It's a press fit. Put a washer on it. And we'll do that for each uh, end of the stand. This is all one eighth inch uh, plywood. Okay, and that's all there is to that. I'm not even going to glue those in there. They'll, they'll stay in there just like that. And then the next thing I'll do is I'll glue this uh, stringer on. each end uh, 
Oops, got that one on backwards. Like so. And then really all there is to do is to uh, take the sides and uh, glue those in the slots like so even with the end one on each side and then uh, there's a couple of real tiny 1 8 square pieces here that uh, will be glued to the bottom here and that will be for the uh, the bottom of the cradle to rest on so really all there's left to do is to glue it up now I've got the uh, cradle glued up and uh, I got the stand Now, put this together. All we have to do is slide this in and pop one pin in the uh, one end. And pull it this end back a little bit and there it is come on pretty good of course if you got a cradle then you need a baby to put in it there you go little bear thank you I hope you like it and please subscribe to my youtube channel